Hello, I mean, it's really nice to see you here today. We are at the second day of Binance Blockchain Week in Istanbul. Uh, there is an amazing community here. What do you want to say about this event and the community? I just arrived myself in my hometown and it's fantastic to see this level of excitement in the air. Um, I think there are about 1500 uh, people around here. Uh, it's very vibrant and uh, I'm thrilled to see this. We just lived through a bear market and I think these are strong signs that the bear market is slowly washing away and it's time for optimism, it's time for technological optimism, it's time to build the future. Uh, so as a classic, uh, because there is an advanced watcher uh, viewer and beginner watcher viewer also. So firstly, can you explain your role uh, and what does Avalanche do? Uh, what uh, product offer to market shortly? Then uh, can you explain uh, what awaits us for Avalanche uh, sure. for the future? So let's see, my role. My role in general in crypto has been that, uh, that I was an academic at Cornell University for many years mm -hmm. and I was in crypto way before Bitcoin came along, starting in 2002. Mm -hmm. And uh, I built a system called Karma that had proof of work mining in it yeah. uh, six years before Bitcoin came along. Uh, but, you know, in general, what did I do? What do I do? Um, I work generally across all technologies spanning cri crypto. And in the last three years, I've been applying that scientific approach to building the world's most advanced uh, most technologically uh, sophisticated system called Avalanche. The system is fast, that's what makes Avalanche interesting. It's scalable in the sense that it supports multiple chains. It's flexible. It allows anybody to customize their virtual machines and to build a system that seamlessly interoperates between multiple parallel chains. We're one of the very few systems that have this architecture. It's very different from what other people are building and uh, we have a very different ethos. Um, the most important meta point, if you will, that people should take away from uh, about Avalanche is this. We, unlike most others, are not here to sell people hopes and dreams of the future. We are here to build things that work today. We, I know how to write moon math. I know how to write incomprehensible academic papers, and I don't do it. We build things that are here today. We're not hoping for some future event. We're not hoping for zero knowledge proofs, RCAs. Uh, verifiable random functions, ZKPs, or any other future technology. We have something that works today, as well as a team that brings the best of science into blockchains. That's what makes Avalanche fundamentally different from all of the other systems in the world. Uh, we see many layer one projects uh, use layer two uh, incentives and especially Web3 gaming for their main growth strategy. Uh, what is your main growth strategy, and what Turkey can be part of? How Turkey can be part of it? So um, our approach to scaling is also very different from many other people. What happens with with most systems, most people is they come to the end of their knowledge and they don't know what to do next, and that's when they say, "Okay, we couldn't solve the hard problems. I punt. I punt the ball to somebody else at layer two who's going to come in and solve it for me." So that's not what we do. In Avalanche, we believe in parallel net sovereign networks called subnets. Anybody can define a blockchain of their own using our technology. Those chains, those parallel chains can interact with each other seamlessly and people can issue their assets and those assets can be used for staking. They can be convertible. They can be transferred across these subnets using the same unified technology. So if you are into building application specific chains, Avalanche is the foundation for you. And especially if you want a highly decentralized substrate, a, a, the world's fastest consensus protocol, Avalanche is the system that does this. So um, that's our take. Now, sometimes people compare this to L2s. There is no comparison between what we do and L2s. It's kind of like comparing Gothic architecture mm -hmm. to a brick. What we do is at a lower level abstraction. It's a fundamental building block like a brick. You can use subnets to build layer twos, and there are people doing that. You can use subnets on Avalanche to build layer twos for Ethereum. You can build dual home subnets because it's such a versatile technology. Mm -hmm. It is essentially, as I said, like brick technology. So people try to compare this to Gothic architecture. You can build Gothic architecture using bricks. We can also build modern architecture. You can build any other architecture that you like. So, uh, so that's the difference. There's a lot of confusion on this point created by people who can't even think clearly about what it is that they're proposing with their own scaling mechanisms. So um, we take pride in being supremely open, supremely uh, 
uh, straightforward and supremely, supremely understandable about the way we're approaching the scaling dilemma. And uh, so uh, that is the, the, the technology that has allowed Avalanche to, be, uh, to, be, to come to where it is today. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's poised for growth. We can absorb the growth that we expect to see in the blockchain system. So last question. Uh, what is your personal uh, opinion for 2024? Uh, could every year has their own story actually. Uh, could it be elaboration of the regulation system or uh, regulation thresholds or could be collaboration with AI and blockchain or is it too early? It's definitely not too early for the collaboration between AI and blockchains. We are currently working on something called coin operated mm -hmm. agents where people program the network using natural language. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to be a solidity programmer to use Avalanche. I'm really excited about this. I want everybody in the world to be onboarded. And the only way we can do this is if we allow people to write their transactions in English, German, French, Tagalog, whatever else they might want to, to specify their, their transactions in. So that's something that I'm passionate about. At the same time, for 2024, I expect SocialFi to take off. Mm -hmm. We started that movement. SocialFi took off on Avalanche. Yeah. Stars Arena was the first step. It's incredibly addictive. It's very popular. Very, very well designed. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people uh, just loved it, including myself. Just the act of using the platform is so fun to, uh, so, so fun to share with other people. It's very viral. Mm -hmm. And uh, third and final thing I, I expect for 2024 is slightly better clarity from the regulatory side. There are, there are developments that we expect. Uh, MICA in, in the EU is a yeah. great step forward. It's going to be active. It's yes, uh, it's coming into play. And... Uh, Many jurisdictions outside the U.S. are achieving clarity on blockchains. Uh, we're very strong in Korea, very strong in Japan. These uh, are Hong Kong, places. maybe. Say again? Hong Kong, maybe. Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong sure, certainly. Singapore, yeah. Switzerland. These are all jurisdictions that have achieved clarity. Mm -hmm. So uh, U.S. is not far behind. I don't expect big breakthroughs in the U.S. until 2024, 25 on the regulatory side. But regardless, I do expect some motion, especially with the Stablecoin Act. That's going to allow... Uh, the, the, so the regulators and the powers that be to become more comfortable with crypto as a generalized asset class. The entire narrative will slowly shift and Avalanche has had a great track record of predicting the future. Our narratives don't change every two years. Yeah. Our hopes and dreams don't suddenly get underpinned on a new technology. What we have said has come to be. Every single call I have made has come to be. And the call I made a couple of years ago was that sovereign chains is where people want to be. Asset issuers want to control and want to extend their own chain. And the only way that, that they can do this, there aren't that many ways. They can, they can build on Polkadot, Cosmos, or Avalanche. And of these, Avalanche offers the most compatible, the easiest to use, and the most reliable, fastest, scalable solution. So I'm really excited about the growth that, I, that we're about to see in blockchains. So, Evan, thanks for your answers and for your time. Hope to see you again in Istanbul, like this event. Thank you very much.